Yes, and growing toenails. It seems like a lot of people get them. This is the first time I ever had it. Uh, it was quite painful. Uh, just the way I cut the toenail. Actually, I didn't like cut it too much to the side instead of a straight line. And kept trimming it a little bit and realized it shouldn't be the way to go if you keep trimming it. So as you can see, this is pretty much the healing process after a month or so of trying self-treatment. Uh, I didn't really book any podiatrists or anything at this point. I was going to probably do it later on, but for now, everything's fine. So I would just like dig in here, get the Q-tip, kind of push up on the toenail just to keep it not digging into the skin as much as I could. So pretty much when I would do that, it would hurt a little bit, but it would at least keep relieve a little pressure. Obviously, the toenail is digging inside the skin. The extra puff there is just extra skin that's underlining, overlaying from there. I would soak Epsom salt baths, uh, basically take a shower, uh, just clean up 15-20 minutes of Epsom salt uh, every night or every night or so just to help uh, circulate clean everything up I would take after uh, that's all done A and D just to moisturize the the feet toes uh, you can also use Vaseline just to shine it up and keep it clean and prevent any moisture trying to seep in the area I tried back to trace him for about a week or so didn't really see any difference or anything there was nothing going on with it so I would get triple antibiotics and I this one actually really helped heal it up in about two weeks or so. I would take this uh, and just place it right in between the area. Also just make sure you're not allergic to any of the products inside the triple antibiotics ointment. So I would like spread it around there and I would place it underneath the toenail and then I would wrap it up in a band-aid at night. Keep it on all overnight and I would place it there uh, when I wake up. Uh, after that, usually during the day, the band-aid and everything slips off, so it's better to have it overnight and do the whole remedy, and that kind of help benefit more. As far as uh, the puffiness and all that stuff, it really helps with trip antibiotics. Uh, it doesn't really hurt anything. Everything's dried up. The toenail's kind of letting it grow right now, just so I can evenly cut it off. And I know it looks ugly, but it is what it is. And it's really helping heal the healing process, and I didn't have to go see no podiatrist at this point. And pretty much solved my problem from here on out. But always contact your provider, everybody's different. This is just a piece of advice of what I use to treat a home remedy on and grow in toenail. But A&D, triple antibiotics, Epsom salt bath, a Band-Aid, and it could be any Epsom salt baths, as long as you soak it for 15, 20 minutes. Other than that, yeah, that's all it took for me and so far everything's so good. There you have it. Comment, like, subscribe. Peace.